back to Bochi Not Macrame. My name is Nicole. In this channel, you will find everything macrame from DIY pattern tutorials to tips and tricks videos. And so today we'll be going over some tips and tricks on how to fringe your macrame piece. So fringing is probably the most popular way to end a macrame wall hanging and macrame plant hanger. There are different ways to fringe a piece depending on the type of board that you use and also the style and look that you want to end up with. So some of the things that we will be going over in today's video are how to trim your macrame piece into your desired shape. So if you want to end a macrame wall hanging with a V-shaped fringe pattern, then we will go over some tips and tricks on how to do that or whether you want to cut your fringe into the shape of a leaf, we will also go over some tips and tricks on how to do that as well. We will also be going over some best practices on how to fringe in general and also how to keep your fringe looking nice and fluffy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and with that, let's begin. The first thing we're going to go over is how to fluff the fringe, or in other words, how to comb through the fringe to give it a little bit more texture. To comb through the fringe, I use a durable steel comb. I find it a lot more helpful to use a strong durable comb rather than a plastic or rubber one that you can find laying around in your household as it helps comb through the fringe more effectively and efficiently. For a single strand cord, all you need to do is take the comb and start combing through the fibers to get a nice fluffy look. If you are interested in this macrame fringe comb, you can check out the link in the video description below as it is available on my Bochina macrame shop. Combing through the fringe is easy if you are using single strand cord. If you happen to be using plied cord, such as three ply or four ply cord, before you start combing through the fringe, unravel the individual strands first. If you have three ply cord, there should be three individual smaller strands that make up the larger strand. So twist and unravel the strands first. If you had tried to comb through the fringe without unraveling the individual strands first, it would be very difficult to do so. Once all the individual strands are unraveled, you can comb through the fringe. The second thing we are going to talk about is how to trim the fringe. The first way to trim the fringe is by freehand cutting. This way doesn't always get you the best result depending on how good you are at freehand cutting. If you have more than enough excess cord for the fringe, then you can try freehand cutting to get it to your desired shape. Or if the shape you're trying to get at is fairly simple, such as it's just a straight line across or just two diagonal lines, then you can try freehand cutting too. Before you trim any fringe, ensure the cords are straightened out and not overlapping one another. What I'm trying to do here is cut along the V-shaped pattern of the upper macrame piece. And so I will cut two diagonal lines from both sides. This macrame piece is from my Kami macrame starter kit pattern. This is perfect for beginners as it goes through the basic knots of macrame and also the fundamentals such as fringing. If you're interested, then please check out the links in the video description below.
freehand cutting might not always get you the best result. So what I tend to do is use a cardboard piece if I want to cut a straight line to make sure it is aligned appropriately so that I can get a nice clean straight line. What I do is place the cardboard on top of the fringe and then cut the fringe along the line. This tends to give me the best results when cutting a straight line or a symmetrical line. To trim the fringe into a desired shape, I will use a tracer to cut along, similar to the cardboard piece to cut straight lines. Here I'm trying to cut this piece and the fringe into a macrame leaf, and I've cut in a piece of paper the shape of a leaf that I want it to look like. And now I'm going to place it on top and just cut around it. If you are interested in learning more tips, tricks, techniques, and more advanced pattern tutorials to advance your macrame skill set, I have a lot more tutorials on Patreon you can learn from, and I'll post a link to that in the video description below. The initial trace should give you a good shape to continue working towards the desired shape that you want it to be. To hold the fringe fibers in place and to prevent them from getting too messy when hung up or from usage, I use hairspray to hold the fibers in place to stiffen them up. You can also use fabric stiffener to have the same effect as well. All you need to do is spray the fringe a few times both sides and then comb through it and let it dry. Another way to hold the fringe in place is to cut a piece of felt in the shape of the leaf here and attach the felt onto the leaf using glue to the back of the leaf. If you don't want to use felt onto your macrame piece and have it reversible, then I would recommend using a fabric stiffener or hairspray to hold the fringe. And that concludes our macrame tips and tricks tutorial on fringing. I hope you guys got some tips out of that and are able to apply some of the best practices into your own macrame pieces and are able to end or add fringe to your piece for some texture. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time.